Oh, hey, AD. So nice to could join us. Come on. Okay, friends. Welcome to the new house. H-A-U-S. It's been 10 long months and it's finally here. So this is the great room. Really, it's just a living room, but the blueprint said great room. We feel cooler when we call it a great room. The faux beams up here were Nicholas's idea. This was an add-on. Here we have a chubby dog. She's Hello, chubby dog. She's excited about her new house. The ceiling fans are from a weird website I found called like Lamps Plus or something. I'll link them for you guys. Here we have our beautiful floor. We asked for a hairy, a hairy bone pattern because it just feels like it gives it a little character. Do you remember that one house, empty house tour we watched? And every five seconds, the girl was like, we paid extra. This over here, we paid extra. <laughs> now for my favorite part of the house, the kitchen. So here's our island that we have named Island Boy. We went with black cabinets and simple brass hardware because we saw a picture on Pinterest that we liked. I really love the countertop. There's little flecks of gold throughout the like marble pattern and it ties in with the hardware. So. Got a pot filler. I asked the builder if I could have this and I didn't think he was gonna remember because I never mentioned it again. And the day that it got put in, I was like, he remembered. And I feel kind of silly because the sink is right here, but it still makes me feel cool. Got this here gold sink. This is from um, Lowe's, I think. I just thought it was cool. Sometimes I second guess my choice because of the silver and gold combined, but I still like it. Here's our pantry. It's only game. Why you have to be mad? So here's the laundry room. When I said the kitchen was my favorite part of the house, I may have spoke too soon. I, I think it's this. We're gonna have main floor laundry. We no longer have to go down and do a dismal, dingy basement that leaks with possums. Check it out. Washer and dryer. We'll go here. This kind of butcher block look was Nick's idea. Tons of storage, tons of room for activities. I think I'm here, I'm gonna put all my candle. I know, I think in here is gonna be my candle storage. Dang, look, it goes all the way up, babe. I put them there. <gasps> you did? I put all the shelves in the other day. You sly guy. Some of them I wasn't sure. Like I made this one a little bit taller so that we could fit like detergent. Oh, you smarty pants. Your drive, your charm, your ingenuity, your industriousness, and your taffy. Your virtue, your intelligence, your passion. This is gonna be a broom. We have a broom cabinet. Yeah, and I put this one here because I was thinking uh, trash, can trash bags and stuff like that, a little nook. Here we have some buckets. Here we have the guest bathroom. My favorite part about the guest bathroom is the little vanity. It's the same countertop from the kitchen with just like a simple white little vanity. We went with matte black for the fixtures. Ta da! We're to show the dining room. Dining room? Oh, yeah. dining area. Obviously our dining room table will go right here. We ordered a new one from Etsy because mine that I currently have is way too big for like this space. Which means we will have plenty of room for Birdie's cage. And here we have a corner. I really like this. I feel like this is a good spot for like a plant or a little thing for keys and wallets and sunglasses, you know. We got a closet. We love a closet. Oops. Now let's look at the bedrooms. And here we have staircase. How neat is that? Feels a little rickety. Medicine cabinet. You can put stuff in there, you can put drawers, you can put medicines, towels. You can put your blankets. Blankets. And now, welcome to the master bedroom. This one doesn't move. I have to unlock it from the top. Here it is. 
or to get B-rolls. Nick added TV boxes to all of these rooms so that we didn't have like dangling cords and stuff, which I thought was very smart. Get the fan from Amazon. Many hours later. It's pretty late. What are you laughing about? Good shot, man. We paid extra. <laughs> so because we have some natural light, I'm thinking right here to put like a full length mirror. I've never had a good full length mirror. We have these little ones that go to the back of our, that like stick on the backs of our doors right now. And I have a big old one. Do we want to show the master bathroom? Yeah, why not? Okay, here's the master bathroom. So you guys remember my tub from last year? We got this and I was really excited to have a bathroom. I was very thankful for that bathroom for a few months. But we had to move it over here a few months ago and it fits pretty good. This is also the vanity we had before, which we might end up painting or changing the hardware or something. Doesn't totally fit the vibe I'm going for at this moment. I really wanted vertical lighting because when you're doing your makeup and stuff, like overhead lighting doesn't do anything. It just casts shadows. And I rushed and got these because the electrician like needed to put something up. So these are pretty like cheap from Amazon. I may update them at some point, but they work good. This is actually my first time entering this show. <laughs> a lot of room in here. You need a skating buggy? Yep, you can do all kinds of stuff. And here we have a toilet. And here we have a linen closet. It's not that exciting. This is the closet in the master bedroom that I'm so excited about. We've been um, very thankful for our current home, but the closets are so small. We pretty much just ended up leaving all our clothes in a heap downstairs because we didn't have room and now we got room. <laughs> look at this. Would you just look at it? I went the wrong way than your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out the spare bedrooms. Ooh, very blue. Okay, so this is gonna be... Hold on, you're kind of dark. So this is gonna be the bird's room slash maybe an office slash we don't exactly know. But I love this big giant window and I think she's gonna love to be in front of it. Now there's where Tammy lives, see that? See all them trinkets? That's where Tammy lives. <laughs> Do you guys remember this exact scene from that vlog I posted? Right there over there, that's where Tammy lives. See that? You see all her trinkets? That was fun. Almost a year ago. Nice closet. I'm not obsessed with the fans that Nick picked out. I think they kind of look like plastic toy fans. But it's okay. And in the final installment of today's home tour, we have the kid room because we have four nephews, an honorary niece and nephew, and just a bunch of kids that we like to have at our house. So here it is. A little window and just enough room for two triple sets of bunk beds. Say that again? It's got just enough room for two sets of triple bunk beds. So it's kind of gonna be like a military barracks style room. <laughs> but for children. And I'm so excited because I ordered, you guys know I love neon lights and stuff, but they always kind of looked silly in my house. I could never get them to look adult. They always look juvenile. So this room Nick said I could live out all my neon fantasies in it. And I ordered a ton of stuff from Society6. This will be fun, colorful playtime. <laughs> I don't like those yellow lights either, by the way. No, I know, we gotta get new light bulbs. Hello. Now this is so much better of a camera. And right here, above the dining room, I think I'm gonna put a sign that says, eat, 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 so that people know when you come here, you eat. By the way, this pendant light is from Wayfair. And again, I don't like it for you. Make it a hat. And it can also be a hat. <laughs> okay. So mature. So, well guys, it's been really fun having you in my home, but you have to go now. There's secrets in here. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. What with a matte black faucet? Are you sure you're doing a good job? Mm -hmm. You want to do some of the tour so I can hold the camera? Mm -mm. You're, you're making me nervous. I'm good. Okay. Jump in the laundry room.
Everything seems extremely overexposed. Oh, are you just, why are you just not telling me that? You guys have seen these lights on my Instagram story and while I do love them, I don't think they fit the vibe of this kitchen. I'm not trusting your camera. It's not picking it up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Can you stop doing that? Let them say you went crazy. What?